Hey guys, this is Ru Roni K95 here. Today's anime review is the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA series. Once again, I have finally get to revisiting on the Egyptian arc on the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series OVA ones, as well as the beginnings of how the series, the first OVA in 2000, has later adapted to the Stardust Crusader series. And the whole re meaning of the whole revisiting of how I wanted to do this as for an OVA series like JoJo's Bizarre Venture or OVA series, because that's just how it is as well. And yes, this was based on the manga of the same name by Hirohiko Araki, which is basically... He per and the yes, this anime was produced by the anime company Another Pushpin Planning which is known for their work on Robot Carnival. The OVA series third part has been adapted to the most infamous series, which is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders, which ironically is the 2014 anime television series of how the, the original JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA has been adapted. I mean, it has gotten a lot more popular and more famous in the 90s, which, for anybody who are a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure out there, who would know for this. So, for the story plot in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA, like, particularly, on there are two types of series, like Series 2, as well as the Series 1 in a whole bizarre way of how the using episodes all together, or... Like is part of the when it's adapted to the 2014 JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series, Stardust Crusaders t television series. So for the plot in the story is is that jo Joseph Joe Star and his Japanese grandson Jotaro fight an ongoing blood feud against Dio Brando, who is an immortal vampire who caused the death of their ancestor Jonathan using the magical powers of The Stand, which is a deck of tarot cards that bestows psychic attributes on the a possessor of each card. The Joestar clan and Brando's minions face off in a violent battle that plays almost like Fist of the North Star in the process, what you see in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA. But it's basically of how... It's all had to come with to deal with in the halls certain thing what you see in the JoJo's Bizarre Venture OVA. As it's most surreal in a way to these days. With its warring secret elites and however and magical trumps, JoJo owes a considerable debt to Roger Zelensky's classic story, which is basically also known in the title as particularly as what you guessed it from 1972 Princess in Amber Princess in Amber particularly considering the immortal tones of its hero, there are several tones of its hero there are several Jojos stretching from the 19th century to the 21st century of how the time period goes of what you see in the original JoJo's Bizarre Adventure story goes as it was to the original manga, especially in the Stardust Crusaders arc. Uh, if you ever read the original manga, or if you watch the OVA, or most of all, the Joseph uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure TV series, like either the 2012 series or Stardust Crusaders television series, what ought to do as uh, how it goes, which is the whole meaning of how it goes. But, yep, you guessed it. There is a more correct translation of the title might to put out the atmosphere after the her, the bow creator, Hiro Araki, Hirohiko Araki's 1987 manga and Shonen Jump begins in the 1880s when an Aztec death mask causes trouble for all who comes into the contact with it. Archaeologist named Jonathan Joestar begins a vendetta 
against Dio, who tries to steal his inheritance and kills his dog when Dio eventually dons the mask and becomes a vampire, causing Jonathan's death as his family flees for the U.S. when the story jumps to New York in the 1930s, where Jonathan's descendant Joseph continues the battle through in the Second World War. Before the story, when it pro progresses in the 1980s, especially with Jotaro Kujo, who is Josa Josar's half-Japanese grandson, but in the anime version deals the primarily, which is a lot more different, especially with the 1980s incarnation, as he and Joseph fight Dio Brando while he tries to heal his terrible wounds, especially his disembodied head who has been sewn onto the body of Jonathan Joestar, and activate his ultimate trump card, the ability to stop time following of how this particularly how it goes. I mean, if you just watch the OVA, if you with before you when you start after you watch the 2012 JoJo's Bizarre Adventure TV series or the Stardust Crusaders TV series in general, it's basically of how just what it is, what it is, as how you want to expect of how it's adapted from by how the OVA starts with the the arc, which is adapted from the Stardust Crusaders arc in the from the original manga especially for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure had a lot to do with as well how it goes as what you guessed it but that's just how it is as how it progresses so that's for the story I mean the animation however in JoJo's oh, Bizarre Adventure OVA however it looks a lot very well done animated in especially in the 90s particularly of how it only has runs from 19 November 19th 1993 until November 18th 1994 especially each episodes which are 34 to 37 minutes on six episodes especially the original series but the prequel series on the other hand is basically runs about 27 to 32 minutes from March from May 25th 2000 and until October 25th, 2002, which is in the early 2000s. And yeah, that was basically how it has to the extend to the... how it, this, this is your typical OVA series, which is later adapted to the Stardust Crusaders television series, especially for JoJo's Bizarre Venture. And on top of that... That's particularly how I love the, the fight action scenes, especially between Jotaro and Dio Brando. Well, you see, if you ever watch the OVA series, or if you watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders, which is the second television series from 2014, if you have ever been a fan of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure her series, from what I know, and yeah... Because most of the episodes from, like, episode 1 at, from May 25th, 2000 until, which is, you guessed it, January 25th, 2002, which is basically adapted it, uh, from the second series of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure prequel OVAs, some of these episodes... Six, seven of these episodes has been adapted as part of the story, which is all part for to later recreate revisited for the 2015 14 series, which is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. Even though I've already looked back on reviewing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders anyway, but this is a lot more different than the 2014 series. But for episodes. 8 through 13, on how it, on the other hand, it's basically the started as an OVA in no, since November 21st, 1993 until November 8th, 1994, which particularly, the which is the final episode, Dio's World, Farewell, My Friends, especially where Jotaro has the battle against Dio Brando after... He went pursues through the streets of Cairo, Egypt, of how you expect, of how you see in, if you ever watch the 
either the OVA or the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders TV series in how the how it presented of how it goes. And if there is a only thing for an anime series like this of how it goes, of how you expect, yeah, because that's how he Jotaro uses the Star Platinum, particularly when he fights Dio Brando in the home way of how that's just how it is of and yeah dio brando kills people with his fists and the bodies and the blood all over there and yeah there's blood stain in the car and all such especially the action fight scenes of how you see in jojo's bizarre adventure ova as of how you expected that all makes perfect sense of how and yeah, there are some names that are sounded familiar, what you find in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series as well. If, of how you expect of how the inspiration names came, which is something considered to be the best of how what Hirohiko Araki had a lot to do when he created the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure manga series. And how this whole turn of event thing of how... Oh yeah, the dog... I who is named after Iggy Pop from the, which is in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA series, but Dio Brando is originally in, named after the heavy metal singer Ronnie James Dio from the the band R Rainbow, and he was originally a singer for Black Sabbath, and he until he did the Holy Diver album. Which is basically the original basis name for the character Dio Brando in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which it has how the inspiration names g goes as well. From the tomes of how, and there is also the Capcom computer game released in 1998, uh, which I haven't known about until now. And yeah, there are some psychic warriors like Mariah and Midler. Or, which are basically named after certain musical references of how, in the style of the of the OVA series, Bastard, of how this, how you could find any credibility of how what you find in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA. Most of the episodes from the original JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA series has finally later adapted into the 20, who, Stardust Crusaders TV series. I mean, when I first watched this, I was like, it's like I'm watch revisiting JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders because anybody hasn't heard that the oh, the episodes from the original JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA series has been adapted to the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders series. Yeah, because it's basically the real icing on the cake of what needs to be added of for how the story from the the plot from these any certain episodes from the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series has adapted to the the TV series which is Stardust Crusaders later on in 2014 because this has gotten a lot of attention for if you're a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure especially if you either watch the Stardust Crusaders TV series or if you read the original manga the OVA has a lot to do for you but the sound animation is great. The sound is great if you watch it either in Japanese or English subtitles. And overall, I find the anime enjoyment because it's basically revisit. Sounds like revisiting Stardust Crusaders to me. If you want to watch this over as a rewatch, but overall, I find this OVA series a outstanding OVA series from the '90s. Considerably, the revisiting Stardust Crusaders to this day. Because I'm going to give this OVA series a 10 out of 10. So that's going to be it for my anime review on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's a hot. Because it's been a while since I watched this last year. Because I find this OVA series to help to have seen Stardust Crusaders. Hope to subscribe for content my anime panel. Link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have a Twitter and Facebook account on all social media, smack the like button in this video if you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave in the comments in the comment section below on this OVA. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuronyK95. Feel free to join the channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Hit the notifications bell button. Keep it otaku for this anime review. And I got another anime review coming up next. What we have for what's in store for the next anime review. Because we're running out of time. Stay tuned for my next anime review. I have another 80s anime review once again for tomorrow's anime review on Katen Tsubasa. 
Stay tuned for my next anime review on Cat and Tsubasa, because you won't want to miss another anime review.